my husband Don is the most disciplined, organized person I have met. He was the one that'd be up at seven in the morning running, lifting weights. It's remarkable. I love watching how he approaches everything, just like this illness. I got 10 grandkids. I got a lot of living to do. I got a great story to tell. When I was 18 years old, my father had reflux. All of a sudden, I began developing reflux. My life centered around, be careful what you ate, be careful what time you would have your meals. So I would always tell my, my children, I said, hey, would you bring me a couple of antiacids? Symptomatically, I was free from any symptoms. That really wasn't what the case was going on internally. And my doctor walked in and he said, because of your reflux, you are sitting on a problem that we've got to take care of. My bottom fell out, my whole stomach. I was just like, how did this happen? My feeling is this. You get bad news, you face it, you deal with it, and you move on. Don't let being symptom free take you to the point of having high grade Barrett's and having esophageal cancer. We're on the cutting edge of seeing testing be just friendly for everybody. That's all I want people to know. I want people to know how you can beat this disease. We knew we had to fight, and we knew we had a road ahead of us, but it is something that could take somebody from you in a second, and it's not what you want. And I never thought Dad would have a story, but I've just never seen such perseverance with somebody and wanting people to be aware of esophageal cancer. I'm here for a reason, so I can tell my story. If I don't do anything more, help one patient avoid esophageal cancer, I will have done my job.